special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who help make these Neptune Artist Tech Talk Tip videos possible. The chaoticness begin. What program is this? This is Clip Studio Paint EX. I like long necks on my characters. Oriana has... See, so this character, let me see if there's another 3D model, because this is not it. It doesn't look the same. Hold on. Is it here? Is it here? Yeah, see, I figured. This is the... See, I want to... I, I need... She had... Oriana has boobies. These these ones are flat boobies. She has, she has bigger boobies. I want to see if I can find another 3D model that has boobies so that it fits Oriana's... Oh, this, this one has boobies. Hold on. Let me stop saying boobies before I get, like, banned. Okay, will the boobies stay? No! What is this? What? Hold on, I need to move this forward. What? Oh, oops. That's the wrong one. Uh, look, come, come forward. What in the world? What in the world? What horizon are you on? Let's plant you. What horizon? Oh, I know what it is. This 3D model was ported out a lot smaller. <laughs> that's why I was like, why is it so small? See, that's not, that's not it. It's, a... I could have sworn that there was one that had boobies. I need the 3D model that has the boobies. These, these, this is not it. Hold on. Let's try to go to character. Is it this one? <laughs> Let's see. Oh! Is it this one? Can I change the shape of it? Hold on. Let me... I'm gonna bring her forward using my blue arrow. Okay, making sure it's flat. And now I'm going to use this gray circle to make it bigger. I can use these ones over here, but I'm just gonna use that. Okay. Um, let's see, does this one let me modify it? Ah, man, the moment I modify it, it changes it. Alright, well, I guess that's just how it is for now. Maybe someday Clip Studio Paint will have that, you know, feature there. Hi, Chi! Hello! <laughs> okay, where was that? Oh, I deleted it! Oops. Just, I want you gone. Okay, let's finish this up. So to um, modify like the individual, what app is that? This is Clip Studio Paint EX. I can mod I can ch adjust like the whole body right here with this, but I want to go in and I want to modify. Like I want the shoulders to be smaller. For me, I don't really keep. Hi DJ, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, for for the um, when it comes to like. You know in art class in high school or grade school, a lot of them will say humans are seven heads tall and the width of their shoulders is, there's two heads on each shoulder, so it needs to be like that. I don't care about those rules because I'm like, I understand that that's like the, that's like the general rule you guys follow. I will follow whatever my brain doesn't scratch to. And my brain has it to where Oriana's shoulders are kind of like, like that. And then, like, you know how usually they say, like, the hands, the, the fingers, like, hang below the crotch? That's, like, the rule of thumb. Sometimes I like to bring them up higher. I just do whatever I feel like doing. You know? Because it's not like I'm going to go to jail if I don't do that. You know? And I, I see now why my art teacher gave me such a poor score in art class. Because I was so confused. I'm like, I don't understand. Why do I have to draw it seven heads? What about those, the people, the little ogres that are hunched over? They aren't seven heads tall. He's like, no, everyone's seven heads tall. I'm like, that doesn't make sense to me. A baby is a seven heads tall. He's like, no, a baby's head is seven heads tall. I'm like, I don't care anymore about this. I just want, can I draw something that's not seven heads tall? No, you have to draw it seven heads tall. And I'm like, I don't have to do that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really get a very good grade in art class. <laughs> But it's okay. How are you? I'm sweaty. How are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, feel free to ask questions. If I don't see your question, I, I, I'm I, sorry. It's not on purpose. Oriana has wide hips. So we're just gonna do that. And then her legs are thicker. 
like that. Not that. Not like that. Like that. You know what? We're going to make her shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know what? We're going to extend her, her torso. Like, we're going to make it longer. Because Orion, I want her to be tall. Yeah. She's like 5'7". Okay. And then I'm going to make her neck longer. And I'm going to make her head longer. And just like that. And then, oh, not that long. There we go. And then maybe like a little like that. A little. Hi, Scribbly. Hello. Angel. Hi, Angel. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello here for the best tips. Okay, okay, okay. So I had mentioned this before, um, but. I'll go ahead and share one of my one of my uh, tips that I use. So with Oriana, my character, she is a plus size character, and to help me keep her shape and character design consistent, or just to help me speed up the process if I'm using 3D models to draw my character, and if I don't want to have to go back through and retweak everything, I like to use the 3D model, and I like to adjust each part, her arms. Her tummy, you know, like that. And then her legs and her feet. I like to adjust it to what I want it to be. After I have it adjusted, I can just save it. I'll use this right here. Save body shape as material. And I can save this specific body shape. So we're going to name this Oriana Body. And then I'm going to add a tag. Plus size character and then I'm going to save it in a specific location and I'm going to do in the 3d mod in the 3d one and body type and I'm going to save it there that way whenever I need to start a new episode I can go down to 3d models 3d I can click body type right here Oriana's body I can click it Hold on, I gotta drag it forward. Hold on. Hold on, give me a second. I know what I'm doing, you can dress me. Ah! No, not the booty again. <laughs> no, that's not it. Let's see here. I need you to come forward. Come forward. I don't know why it's so small. But anyways. But you see, there we go. It's already set. So that's one trick and tip that I like to do when it comes to drawing my webtoons or digital art. And if I want to have a consistent character design, I use that. Some people have a photogenic memory to where they don't need all this. I do not. I have a memory disorder. So there's my tip. My tech tip. Was that helpful, Scribbly? <laughs> was, was that a good tip, you guys? Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more tech talk tips from a webtoon comic artist. Bye!